tutorial. To do this, we're going to use a microphone module. This here microphone module is um, an analog sensor, although it also has a digital output pin. What that means is that we're going to connect um, two pins here as its power supply, a GND and a plus. So this goes into a GND, this goes into a 5 volts, um, and we're going to get a value out of this A0. That value is going to be uh, between 0 and 5 volts. In practice, it's going to be a number that's read by our Arduino that's going to be between 0 and 1024. Then we're going to use that value to do different things to a panel of LEDs. So, to simplify this as much as possible, although it's not recommended with all sensors, I've done it many times with this one, we're going to hotwire this, meaning put it straight into the Arduino. And we're going to do this by putting A0 into the pin of Arduino A0 and facing the microphone with the variable resistor pointing outwards. Bing dong. Now we're going to need, say, if we're going to use four LEDs, we're going to need to um, get that row into GND. So... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, G and D. And we're going to have to use four pins as outputs. I'm going to pick, um, say, 10, 8, 6, and 4. It just makes sense. So if that's that going to go into 20, then I want the next one in 16. It goes into 8. As you notice, I'm putting a gap of three in between each light. It doesn't have to be that way, but I like it because it looks a bit neater. So we got Arduino pins 4, 6, 8, and 10 in the breadboard here. Now we get four resistors coming out of each and then four LEDs going into the GND. And we have ourselves the circuit. So, for LEDs, make sure that you get the short leg into the blue. And the long leg goes into the Arduino pin that's coming in through the resistor. Alright. That's it. Time to program. So this is going to be the program for the self-calibrating microphone circuit. Let me just go through the sort of set up pre-written code um we've got the four leds that are connected to these four pins um this is actually a bit of a remnant from the last boolean program um we've got a hot wired microphone sensor that's basically being turned on by these two pins uh, a1 is g and d and a2 is the 5v so i normally don't do comments on these videos because that would make them much much longer and I explain every line, but I might as well write these in. Okay, and uh, yeah, the four LEDs are set as outputs, and that's it. So we have a microphone that's basically powered up, um, that has A0 set as an input, and we're ready to make this happen. Now, <clears throat> this microphone is putting out uh, values, and maybe we should just really quickly demonstrate that, serial.print. This, so this what this would do is um, I think this is going to work the light on the second now what this would do is basically give us the microphone readings and the trouble with the microphone readings is a they don't fluctuate very much B every time you turn your circuit on and off um, there's a slight increase in the baseline reading. Um, and if I have a look here, yeah, 406. And I mean, it, you know, next time you turn it on, it might be 404 or 402. So any kind of really sensitive code that you want to write um, isn't going to work that well. So what you want to do is essentially um, set the baseline value of the microphone every time you turn the circuit on. And that's that's really, really easy. So you're going to create um, 
another variable. So we have a variable here for microphone value, and we can create another one called int baseline value equals. And so we're going to need to uh, um, read the microphone value and set the baseline value once when the code initially runs, because we know that the setup code runs once, and then the loop runs over and over and over. So in here, we're going to need to basically um, say baseline value equals oh no, uh, zero. Lovely. So now we have a baseline value that is read when the program is initially started. Now, just in case, like, um, let's put a delay in here because when the when the Arduino is just powered up and uh, uploaded a new program, there might the microphone might not yet be you know stable and fully uh, operational. So we're gonna just put a, a delay of a second at the very start of the program before we um, analog read. Okay, so. Now we have some kind of baseline value, and I suppose we can now write an if function um, saying that if the present reading is bigger than the baseline value by a certain amount, we can perhaps turn on an LED. So if we say if, oh, we're going to need to do a new value, what am I talking about? So we're going to need to have a mic value here, and it's going to be. So now we have, this reading is going to be taken every time the loop goes around. So this reading is taken once at the start, and this reading is taken again and again and again and again. So if this kind of constantly refreshed reading of mic value is bigger than baseline value by a certain amount, minus baseline value is bigger than, I don't know, we can start with one and see what happens. Then digital. So we can turn on the LED now. Um, not here. Why not? Why not here? And well, we can put some kind of a small delay here. Now. Beyond the ifs, we can have just all LED pins low. Like that. Now I'm going to turn them all off, even though you know um, I'm not yet using the other four, but it's just because we're eventually going to use them. I might as well write a code for it. Uh, something's not good. Baseline value. So I misspelled it. Baseline value. Baseline. Okay. So, what should happen now? Hello. Yeah. Oh. As you can see, um, we're managing to turn one LED with a certain amount of noise. And, you know, this is going to require some fine tuning, but let's say we can have it so that it escalates. Um, and, you know, we just keep adding an extra LED to the next level and increase that by another. You know, as I said, when it's going to be optimal, you're not going to use one, two, three, four, but you may use something similar. All right, so maybe so we've got four of these if statements. Um, do they all end? No. And this is going to be the third. So I'm just going to need to copy one line. Q 
stream. Alright, do three and four. Okay, so one, two, we can make that three and four. And we can have perhaps a very crude sound reacting circuit. Do, do, do. Yo, come on, all of them, do it, yes. Okay. Um, at this stage, I'm going to leave it to you guys. Um, I think this code bears a lot of experimenting. Um, you can change the delays. Um, you can choose to not turn them all off all at once. You could maybe put um uh, the off part within the if statement and see how that changes things uh, maybe they could go down instead of all four pins going down um maybe uh, you could turn them off one by one and there's another thing that you can write code that basically does fluctuations on whether the sound goes drastically up or down and trust me these microphone sensors are not perfect so I'll show you one line of code that's interesting so I need the straight line yeah so this these two lines means or so you can now say if the present value is bigger than the baseline value or you could reverse this and basically say oh if the baseline value is If the baseline value is the bigger one. So what this would do um, is simply say, oh, if there's a drastic fall in the sound level or a rise, well, drastic is a funny word because it's only by a level of one, but you could use this code, which would make the microphone even more sensitive. Um, and you could try that across, across the board. But yes, um, I have done, I'll, I'll link another video where I have done uh, this to a fairly optimized level with different delays around each of these but i think it's much more fun if i leave it um, to you for experimentation all right so much for today your turn to build it